the name of water, it's the name of a mountain range, and it is the name of a college. The College of the Ozarks. Yeah, Pete Hicks has been there all right. morning long. He actually since 4 a.m. and so is that group of students. Pete, is anyone going to class today? Well, I don't know if, is there class today? I think there is. But they all get a pass for the morning a little bit. Because you know what? This is hard work you, where they really do work really hard. But this morning they're taking a bit of a break for us. Uh, they love our country. They love faith. Uh, they love values, and they love working hard, and that's why they're here. I'm here with Tori. Tori, where are you from? Republic, Missouri. There's a town called Republic in Missouri, which I love. <laughs> uh, they, tell us a little bit about your story, your background, how you, how you landed at the College of the Ozarks. Um, so my cousin went here before me, and I really loved uh, his experience and his stories here. So that's how I came here and just took an interview and... Got in, and it was a great experience. And now you're working hard, and you're going to be debt-free, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we've talked a lot about that, but also your Christian faith, the faith aspect of this school is very important to you. Why? Because I feel like as a Christian, it is our duty to build community, build relationships, and that is our goal here, especially just being an RA. It's building up people and individuals in a Christ-like manner and just glorifying God with everything that we do. Well said. Uh, and how about the patriotic aspect of, of you know, the stance this college has taken on, on standing for the national anthem? I support it. I believe that we should stand for the national anthem. Well said. Tori, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well done. She was nervous. She shouldn't have been. She's fantastic. Come on over. Now we're going to talk to Eric. Eric, uh, so you're wearing, you're wearing, it looks like a server's outfit, right? Yeah, correct. So I'm a server at our fine dining establishment here at the Keter Center uh, at College of the Ozarks. So I had dinner there last night. It was fantastic, by the way. Yes, it is. Uh, and every student here works, and that's why you're, you're wearing this. Uh, you follow politics in the, in the news of the day. One of the things we've talked about on the show all morning long is Brett Kavanaugh and the treatment he's received in his nomination hearing. What do you make of the treatment of him? You know, I think it's uh, really concerning for just everybody, young men, anybody in the country, the fact that a simple allegation can ruin a person's reputation and credibility without any evidence. And I think that's important in the Kavanaugh situation that evidence is a deciding factor, not just mere allegations. Absolutely. The, the Constitution requires that. The rule of law requires that. Uh, the, the president has talked a lot about it. He's been in it. He's in the news every day. Uh, what do you make of, of the job he's done uh, in, in both this nomination process but overall as well? Yeah, I think Trump has done an amazing job for this country. I appreciate what he's done for the economy. Uh, also, his attempt to go back to our conservative values uh, means a lot for this country. Also, you know, there's a lot of people that disagree with Trump, but I believe that the position of President of the United States deserves to be respected regardless of whether you agree with his decisions or not. Absolutely. You should call him the president because he is. Very well said. And I bet, I think I can speak for the group when you say, if you're debt-free and you have a good economy, it means you're going to have a good job and that's all good, right? Yeah. Probably, yeah. All right, we're going to go. Thank you very much, Eric. Thank you. Great stuff. Mr. President, come on around. Well, actually, you guys come over here. We'll get the president. This is Dr. Jerry Davis. Doctor, you're the reason we're all here. Well, actually, this is wow. a 100-year-old institution, but you've been the president here for, for over 30 years. That's right. Uh, a lot has changed in this country over 30 years, yet the vision of this school has remained consistent. How do you stay true to the vision and values of this institution? Well, I think it comes down to leadership. Uh, that you've talked to the chairman of the board of trustees here, who's a four-star Marine general. And uh, since the Vietnam War, unfortunately, higher education has drifted farther and farther to the left. Uh, in my opinion, we have too many colleges and universities that have become little more than liberal enclaves of snowflakes that whine about everything and accomplish nothing. Well said. Not a lot of snowflakes behind me. I, I can attest to that. Uh, the president last night was talking yet again about patriotism and standing for the anthem and standing for the flag. You know, because I talked to a lot of your staff members here, uh, this college took a strong stance when Nike came out with that ad, and they said, we're not going to use Nike apparel anymore. Big backlash from across the country, but you've also seen a lot of support. How did you make that decision, and do you think other colleges will join you? Well, I just, I just intuitively almost knew that we did what was the right thing to do. Now, whether everybody likes it or not, I don't really care. Uh, I think that we all owe this country something if we live here, and we certainly owe it our respect, and especially to those who have worn the nation's uniform and have fought for our freedoms. Uh, on a couple of occasions, I've gone with students 
to back to Vietnam on these veterans trips. And I remember standing out one day on the old runway in Quezon where many Marines died. And uh, I stood beside two or three students and a recipient of the Medal of Honor. And we were talking, I said, can you show me where this happened? He pointed to a mountain, he said, but you need to understand, all these hills are bathed in American blood. Well, if you see something like that, like I have and these students have, then your citizenship takes on more meaning. And it's about time everybody in this country realized that we, we owe the veterans more than we've given them. And uh, I'm proud to represent a college that says so. Boy, well said. I get chills just hearing it. Can you come up here? Young lady, what's your name? My name's Rachel. Rachel, I just, I brought you up because I saw your head nodding the whole time with what the president's saying. Um, what does it mean to you to have a president in a college that, that reflects those values? Oh, it's a huge blessing to have um, just someone in such a powerful position that understands that we need to grow our young students and our young people in this country up to honor our country, honor our God, and have a very strong education system. Well, and I'll tell you this, she was not planted. I just grabbed her out of the audience. <laughs> you can't always find someone that can articulate it that well, uh, Mr. President. And all these buildings, by the way, uh, you have no debt at this institution. It's, it's, it's funded no by donors. Who no builds debt. these buildings? Well, the students and the staff build these buildings. <laughs> and we don't have any debt. And Washington would be better advised to follow us instead of <laughs> asking us to follow them. There's all. a lot of wisdom in middle America that Washington could use these days. This indeed. is the real America. This is the re and, and you really do... Hey, I'm cool with that. Uh, and you guys really do work hard. I mean, we just talk about the buildings. These buildings are built with the hands, of, as you said, of students here. That's right. And all these student industries, whether it's a hog farm, you didn't see the hog farm. I didn't. I wish I had. <laughs> I went to the dairy you farm, You couldn't though. even handle a calf. I don't know what you did. <laughs> Apparently, my technique was poor. All right. You can improve on it. But the, these beautiful grounds are kept up by the students. Uh, the students run the dining halls, run the computers. Hmm. Everywhere you find work, you'll find a student at hard work. Mr. Here. President, thank you very job. much. You've been amazing thank in your hospitality to us here at Fox & Friends. Is this book for me? Uh, it can be if you want. It, it. wasn't for me. <laughs> if you'd like to learn Miracle more. Miracle in the Ozarks, more right? More about this special school, if you'll go to our website, we'll send you a complimentary copy. Thank, thank you cool. very much. Mr. President, and I'm stealing this copy. He wasn't going to give it to me, but now it's mine. Mr. Mr. President, thank you very much. USA! Back to you guys in the studio. USA! What a great job, Pete. Uh, unbelievable. I think, we, uh, I think the, the amount of applications flowing to the College of Ozarks is going to quadruple. I think so, too.